Um, what happens in these, what I would call, incredible Westminster stories where there's a sort of feeding frenzy and much of it just goes over the heads of the public who either find this story sort of faintly amusing or nothing much to do with them, really. Uh, and I think that's what's really going on at the moment. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not just saying this, but I've talked to lots of colleagues and nobody hears anybody raise this on the doorstep or anything like it because it's not what's going on in their lives. You know, the lockdown, for example, we have a huge story yesterday, you know, about uh, the, some of the scientists now saying, literally, we should be unlocking now. Uh, others saying, no, 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 we've got to be cautious. There are whole areas of, of the UK where there are literally no deaths at all as a result of the vaccinations, which has been a huge success. Uh, but all of this stuff gets shoved to one side whilst we go after this whole issue about, uh, you know, this internal matter, as you know, Westminster bubble story, I think. Yeah, yeah I, to, to a point, uh, Sir Ian, but the Prime Minister is now facing four separate inquiries. Yeah. That, that well, I mean, you know, the, 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 the reality is that those inquiries will no doubt do their work. But the story about this whole issue that's led to Keir Starmer heading for John Lewis, I think, does rather tell you that this looks to a lot of people like a kind of heightened story around Westminster about chased like mad on these whole ridiculous issues leading to some completely ludicrous stunt. Uh, and politicians are at their worst when they do this. They really are.